peace. Go peace. Okay. Um, okay, so now uh, I'm going to hand it over to Eric with the fun fact. This guy. Uh, how many of y'all yeah. ever heard that saying that just because you skin don't mean you can? Uh, Anybody? Uh, well, let me tell you. Well, let me tell you about somebody who embodies that. His name is Ben Carson, and just because he might be oh, black, Eric, 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 don't, 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 don't yell. Is this better? Y'all yeah. yeah, know I got pipes. I can, I can blow. Um, so, just like I said, right, if you've heard the, the saying that just because you skin don't mean you can, Ben Carson exemplifies that. Just because he might seem black on the outside, I'm not sure he knows. Let me tell you why. So, uh, this young man um, grew up, like a lot of us, dealing with a lot of struggle, right? Because whether or not you're invested in white supremacy as a person of color, you will still suffer from the lack thereof, right? So it's important to understand that Ben came from like really humble beginnings. His mom was a single mother, and he was so amazing at what he did that he became one of the top neurosurgeons in his field, right? Which is really, really bomb, except. Ben Carson is also a raging homophobe. Thank you, right? Raging homophobe. Um, he has no government experience or expertise in the area of urban housing or development, which he is being submitted for. He's also never lived in urban housing or development, which means that he doesn't know the struggles of the people who need urban housing, right? In his, uh, most la in his latest appearance on television during a Senate confirmation hearing, he said that he believes that LGBTQ folks don't deserve what he calls special rights. I tend to call them like human rights because we're humans, but I don't think he knows that yet. We're going to help him get there. Um, and although... And again, although he himself... Uh -huh. Y'all playing games with me. Uh, and again, although he himself is black, he has consistently worked advocating against the best interests of the black community. Y'all remember when he was running for president not a few months ago? Yeah. Not that long ago? Um, well, he was pretty forgettable because he didn't really know what he was doing. But while he was running, right, the things that were coming out of his mouth were just absolutely despicable. Um, the thing that we need to be worried about is that recently during his confirmation hearing, he said that he would not give his word that he wouldn't use his position to help Trump's businesses, right? And this comes down to the real issue here, is that if there's somebody in power who gets to put their friends in other positions of power, do you think they're going to benefit him? Do you think he's going to put people in these positions to do what he wants them to do? Yes. Do you think what they're going to do is what they need to do for you? No! Right? So that's what we have to think about.